David, I know it's been you know a tough month, obviously, for you guys. I mean, just how how, how tough is it to keep your guys' heads up as you guys are really kind of trying to get to the end here? Um, just just coming out, uh, competing every day. Like uh, like I said after the um, TCU game, if guys want to. You compete if you love the game. You're just gonna keep competing no matter what the record is, no matter what adversity with the hit. God put um, His toughest soldiers through the toughest battles, and that's um, that's a motto that I use majority of my life, and I feel like it's carrying over. Montavious, the road's been. I've been playing on the road's been really tough for you guys this year. Is there anything you can point to that maybe is the reason for those struggles? Um, uh, you know we've. We've we've competed, you know. That's one thing we've come out slow, sluggish, and I feel like we always have that mindset of always coming back. But I just feel like if we have that mindset from the start, and just competing hard from the start, and just like just like having that fire from the from the uh, the get go, we'll be we'll be good. So, Montavious, he always came here with some expectations and hopes for himself. Then you have the injury, then you come back and you have your first double digit game against. Uh, Texas Tech, and you hit nine free throws in that game. Were you pleased with your aggressiveness and just your ability to bounce back off the injury? Yeah, um, coach. Coach told me I needed to be more aggressive in that game. Um, I felt like I needed to, I needed to do more. I just if that's going to line, being concentrating on the free throws, and that's what I did. Um, I, I saw I was hitting free throws. I say found me and just hit, knock them down. And when you have ten points against Alabama and ten points against number one Baylor. Does that kind of reinforce, you know, hey, I can do this at the big level? Yeah, you know, it kind of just put that spark in my head, like just go out there, have fun. That's that's my main thing. Main thing is going out there, having fun, um, competing with the guys, and just making sure we get everything on the defensive side. So, yeah. David, what can be done to start these games just a little bit better for you guys? Um, I think the the we. We usually guard very well, but uh, I think the offensive end scoring, getting better shots. Montavious, do you believe in the freshman wall? Is that a real thing for you guys right now? I, I, don't, I'm, I don't know what freshman wall is. So. Uh, people say at this time of year, the game just kind of gets hard for freshmen. Oh, no, I, I don't believe in that. No, of course, I don't. I don't, well, because. Just from my mindset, I'm just kind of going out there to compete. So freshman wall, whatever it is, I really don't know. But um, I just go out there and compete. And for other guys, I'll probably say the same. So we just go out there and compete every day. Now that you're halfway through the Big 12 season, uh, Montavis, just describe for us how mentally grinding and physically taxing life in the Big 12 is for a young player. Well, it's tough. You know, we dealing with just like little injuries and that little type of stuff. And we just try to fight through that. And just for like us young guys, it's like you just have to have that motive. We just want to go out there and compete and not let anybody down. So, yeah. What have you been most pleased with? Um, most pleased is just everybody. You know, we, st we still have a great mindset right now. You know, it's not if we might be down, we might be losing these games, but we still have that mindset of going out there and competing. So, yeah. How about individually? <laughs> what do you like most about your game? And what do you hope to work on the most during the summer? Um, I would just like my just like physical just like I'm getting more physical like um last game I, I did a post move like that's just stuff like I just get more used to like just trying to get like involved in my game but I feel like um my body just getting bigger next maybe next like next year or something like that so yeah right now I'm just ready to go out there and compete right now David obviously there's not a lot of stats that can really point to on this, but where do you feel like your defense has come along? And obviously that's one of the things the coach said you needed to continue to work on. Is there any, or do you feel like there's been a lot of progression throughout this season in terms of your, your defensive play? Um, I definitely feel like I've gotten better. Uh, coach Lowry pushes me every day in practice about defense. Even in the games, he tells me to guard the ball. And uh, I feel like I've gotten way much better on ball. But uh, it's just it's just uh, progress. I'm just going. I feel like I'm gonna keep becoming a better defender. What did you take away from Texas Tech last time you guys saw them, and, and maybe some things that you guys can do better in round two here? Um, definitely guard the actions. They uh they play inside the arc a lot, and uh their flare screens, slip screens, uh, back doors. 
we just uh, we just got to be ready for it, and uh, it's going to be a tough task on the road. We just got to score the ball, play defense, and compete. David, what do you think to the sun? Davis and the way that he's been able to develop and how excited are you for his future? Um, I'm very excited for his future. He's getting he's getting better every day. He's uh definitely developing his uh jump shot where people have to guard him out on the wing and then he can put the ball on the floor. Obviously when we played West Virginia here, uh it was times where I just ran up the court and let him bring it up. So he uh he has an all around game. He's just his his future is very bright. For both of you guys, what have you seen? Even though you can't play till next year, what have you guys seen from Casey so far at practice? Um, I feel like he's he's definitely strong. He's uh he works he works out every day. He has a big body, big frame. He's competing with the bigs. Um, he sets good hard screens, and he's gonna be he's gonna be very good. Yeah, um, very physical, very physical guy. Um, doesn't really go home that much. He's always in here. Uh, I mean, literally always in here. Uh, I'm coming out of class. He'd be in here just on his phone and then just and at night, just so you could just tell that he's he's a guy that want to learn, just a guy that want to be very physical in the post and just very bright. Is there anything that you specifically can learn from also being a post player? Um, I just learned that anything goes down there in the paint with him, so I'm I'm just excited about it. What do you feel like you can still get better at this season, Monty? Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to keep a positive head because you know just so much of just uh, stuff and just and making sure that everything just plans out right so yeah. Well Davis Texas Tech's coming off a you know, pretty tough losses in Oklahoma State I mean that when you, when you face a team that's you know looking to kind of rebound off of a, of a loss like that does it get tougher? Um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I just feel like every every game is a different matchup so they that was the game their matchup now we have to come in and just get ready. Have you noticed any uh, patterns or uh, you know common denominators in the needs that slow starts you guys have had in the last few games? No, I just feel like we just just not just not coming out right. It's, it's every, we just every game we just need to get better. That's it. So yeah. You're gonna be a, a key player next year, and you're gonna have young guys looking to you. If you have a piece of advice to the young guys coming in the program next season, what would that be? Um. Just stay positive and be ready, because you know, because we're we're gonna be ready and just just right good good mindset coming in. Is it tough for you to stay positive during your freshman season through the ups and downs of everything? Um, it's the first season, so yeah, I, I guess you you could say so, but um, I'm just learning, so yeah. What what causes kind of that? Um, just being ready, because you know, just every game you're going Tuesday, Saturday is different, so yeah. Monte, how would you summarize your progress starting in August up until now in the last week of February? Um, I feel like I'm getting a lot better because just that the injury just kind of stopped me a little, but you know, just getting better physically, so that's good. What was your approach to the game then when you're incoming versus now when you're kind of at the end of your first season? Um, approach to the game. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't Has it evolved? Has it changed any? Yeah, I, I say it evolves. Um, just getting a little quicker. So, I'm excited. On Davis, between you and Tomino and Dejuan, you guys all play with a lot of intensity when you guys are out on the court. Is that something you guys kind of feed off of each other? And you hope to kind of instill that in the rest of the team going forward? Not that they don't play like that, but you guys are just really fiery out there. Yeah, I feel like that's something all three of us just comes in every day to do. You know, we, we just come in with fight. Uh, we feel like if we play harder than whoever we're going up against or that matchup, we feel like that's just, that's just going to set uh, things higher. So, yeah. What are you most proud of right now? Um, most thing I'm proud of is everybody having a positive mindset heading into this game. And every game that comes in, we still know we have a shot. So, we just got to keep fighting. Anything else for these guys? David, what are you, what are you guys doing to look at trying to look to – Push the pace and, and look for tempo opportunities. Um, <clears throat> just easy baskets, getting getting in transition more. I feel like we uh, strive in transition a lot, but we usually don't get in transition because of certain things. But um, just as my job and Cardi's job to 
get get better shots for the team, the whole team. That's Monty, X, anybody, just getting better shots for everybody. Our Big 12 teams are much more focused on getting back on defense than you've seen in your college career. Uh, yeah, it's it's much different than uh, last year when I was at JUCO. I could my teammates would just get it out to me, and I just go and score. But uh, it's it's a lot different. They usually have like two or three people back and send two people to the, to rebound. So it's a it's a lot different. How's uh, you you play quite a bit at the same on the at the same time with with Cardi, and is that something that's maybe. Uh, developing for you guys maybe a little chemistry and how to sort of share the point guard duties or yes yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely uh, some that me and him like a lot because uh, he can handle the ball very well and I can too but uh, just helping him out so he can take the pressure off him where he can go score the ball because he's more of a, a scoring guard so I think that uh, that just helps him a lot and uh, I feel like the offense flows when you look back on your development season, what are you going to be most proud of? Um, just hard work. Um, just knowing I came in every game and just competed. I think I just feel like I'm going to be most proud of. David, you, you uh, finished at the rim really well for a guy of your size. Like, what do you do to be able to do that in this league? Um, my When I was growing up, my brother and my dad helped me on finishes around the rim. And then the last two years at JUCO, my JUCO coach was a small guard. He was smaller than me. And we used to just do like layup drills where he'll bounce it to me and I had to catch it with one hand and lay it up. And he just, he just, he, he helped me uh, perfect, perfect the layup craft or whatever. I'll tell you what, some teammates or guys on TV, what parts of other people's games do you try to emulate? Try to copy and, and put into your, your game and your repertoire? Um, honestly, <laughs> I don't really like. I look at a few players like uh, like guys who could just be consistent. Like, that's what I'm trying to be like right now, just like consistent. Just like if, if your time is up to hit that shot, like make sure you hit that shot because you have to hit that and then you have to, you never, you never know what else comes into the game. So basically, I'm just like, like, with Marcus or Aldridge, like how he just hits, he don't hit that many three-pointers, but he does everything else for his team. That's what I'm just trying to do.